Hi guys, please don't go anywhere. I'll play you a short video of Bishop David Abuye preaching at the Dunamis International Gospel Center at their ongoing conference and what he had to say about other men of God criticizing others. What he has to say definitely has a connection with what is going on between Dr. Abel Damina and Pastor Dr. Enenche, Pastor Dr. Paul Enenche of Dunamis International Gospel Center, the senior pastor. Stay tuned, listen, do not be biased, calm down, listen to the message. I'm saying this because, please permit me, I'm shooting two, three minutes beyond my time. There is a lot of competition going on in ministry today. You are not called to complete, but to complement. You are not called to be famous, but to be faithful. You are not called to be popular, but to be peculiar. Stop seeking popularity. Stop having stomach ache when someone is making progress. I'm not saying this to flatter our host or to make myself feel important. There are times I just send a message. I watch the crusade in Kano. I watch the crusade in Nevada. This final night will be very great. That's my joy. I don't go on crusade, but someone is there doing it. Let's send them with goodwill. Amen. <laughs> Listen to this. My wife and I, we pray for a number of our co-laborers from time to time. We pray for them. The proof of love and commitment to your co-ministers is in your ability to pray for them. And beyond, occasionally send seed to whatever they are doing that impresses you. We are glad this is happening. We are happy things are going on there. Stop creating stomach ache for yourself by reason of good things that God is using others to do. The faith dome here is not Pastor Enenche's own. It is for the entire body of Christ. It's for the glory of God. It's for our honor. It's for our pride. Everywhere we go to, we rejoice at the doings of God. It's happening everywhere, all across the globe, including in Canaan land, building mighty structures for Jesus. Everyone, except those who have too much ache, are not happy with it. Why are they building? Why are they building? God sends us differently to create fear. Why are they talking about prosperity? That's why wicked people can touch us. They don't only fear our anointing, they fear our resources. Fear our resources. They fear our resources. And there is nothing they can do about it because we didn't get our resources in crooked ways. What am I saying, brethren? Permit me for keeping you standing, first of all. I'm saying this, let competition be over you know how to you know how to shake the devil when you hear your fellow minister doing something go there have an handshake and tell him we are praying for you we are standing with you and if you are blessed with something to offer this is our seed because you can't give to somebody and still hate the person no let's destroy the devil and finally let each person focus on this assignment. If God sent you as a prophet, stay on there. If he sent you as evangelist, stay on there. If he sends you as a pastor, as a teacher, and on different subjects. Do you know that even among prophets, there are differences? There are prophets that causes. There are prophets that weep. Like Jeremiah, he's a weeping prophet. Elijah, a killing prophet. And yet God was supporting each of them to prove that he sent them. Because there are people in the church, there are people around who want to kill the church that needs to be killed. So they stand up. 
there are prophets who teaches forgiveness. There are other prophets who teaches judgment. They are all doing their jobs. How do I know? God is confirming their word. God is confirming their word. Hallelujah! There are those who teach success. There are those who teach healing. Don't castigate somebody. There are those who teach prosperity. Don't say, oh, every time they'll be preaching prosperity. That's what he is sent to preach. You face your own. Face your own. Face your own. Amen. <laughs> you know, in the market, there are different stalls. There are those who sell spare parts. There are those who sell iron rod. There are those who sell cement. Every customer goes to where he has the good being sold. So display your good. Sell your good. Preach your message well. Stay on your assignments. Instead of focusing your eyes on somebody else's assignment. Otherwise, stomach ache will trouble you too much. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! No one has the authority to judge another person's ministry. No. God didn't give that authority to anybody. Say, sir. Aha. Thank you. Stay on your assignment. Stay on your job. Make a mark. There is no calling that is inferior. Every, somebody says, you see, the reason why I don't see miracles is because I'm not a teacher. That's not true. I teach every day. In the church where I minister this month, we had a record of over 250 healing testimonies through teaching, through teaching, through teaching. Don't say, see, I'm not, I'm not an evangelist. That's why I do. Face, Jesus was teaching and preaching and healing. Don't say, see, the reason why we are not prosperous is because we are not teaching prosperity. It's not true. Jesus didn't teach prosperity when the woman brought an alabaster oil and poured it on his head and poured it on his feet. Be faithful in your assignment. Everything you need will meet you on the way. Be faithful in your assignment. Everything you need will meet you on the way. Don't look at this ministry and say, Oh, can you see why God is so partial? Find out where they were 25 years ago. I was there. I was there. I was there in their office. I was there, there was no air conditioner. I was there in their office when the table will require balance with a bottleneck. Like my own when I was in Meduguri. I wanted to make wood, I mean table. I told the brethren in the church, I said, can you make a table for me? He said, where is the money? I said, don't you have off-cut wood in your, in your site? So they went and used off-cut wood. By the time they put the table on the ground, one leg was this, other. So I put bottleneck to shock the leg. Come on table, you must stand strong. You must stay well. Now lift up your hand, please. Permit me for the time. Lift up your hand. A lot of Nigerians are taking sides in the ongoing issue. But I want to beg you in the name of the Lord, no matter what you have to say, do not insult a man of God. Do not call them names. If you have an opinion to air, air it. You can do that without calling anybody's name. Meanwhile, when you are commenting on this post, comment respectfully. Thanks for watching.